All right, season vets, we're back with week 15 NFL primetime picks. Colton, how you feeling? I'm ready to pick them and ready to, for teams to win and teams to lose. Okay, sounds like you've never watched football, but that's what we're going for. Um, so for those of you who don't know, uh, every week we pick the Thursday night, Sunday night, and Monday night football game. I pick based on who I think is going to win off of me watching sports. Colton picks off of some arbitrary metric that we make up 30 seconds before we start filming. And this one's a good one, I promise, because I actually know a little bit about this one. There you go. You got a little background. So, Colton, what's your metric this week? Airports. Airports. And actually, I haven't been to all the airports. But, but you can imagine. But I can imagine. I travel. I travel. I actually have Southwest Companion Pass, oh, wow. and I have Delta. Big flex. Big flex. Delta's for international. Where are you flying next? I'm trying to get to Berlin. Oh, wow. Okay. Careful. <laughs> it is purely sexual. Too I German. have <laughs> no intention on seeing any sites. Purely just, sexual? Just basements. You're just going to go to the dungeons? I'm just going to go to the dungeons. Wow. Well, hopefully these picks aren't in the dungeons. I don't know how to segue that. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to be picking. I'm going to be picking off of who I think is going to win. Colton's going to be picking over which airport he would rather spend time in. So uh, first, sorry, that's my cue. Uh, first week, first, uh, first game, we've got Thursday night football. It's going to be the Seattle Seahawks versus the San Francisco 49ers. I've got the Seattle Seahawks in an upset this week. Colton, who do you have? Seattle. I'm going Seattle. You're going Seattle too. San Francisco has a bunch of minor. You kind of don't fly into San Francisco. You kind of go like segment. Like it depends on where you're going. And for that reason of the confusion, I'm choosing Seattle. Seattle, straight cut airport. Yeah. Also, San Francisco is actually a little scary to me these days. Oh wow. And I would. I don't actually want to go to San Francisco because they scare me. Scare maybe. Francisco. I've actually been maybe watching too much Fox News. Yeah, to, uh, quite possible. Everyone's like, "Oh my God, your car is going to get broken into." I'm like, "My car? <laughs> no, thank my you." My car. The Antifa riots. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So it could be baseless. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. All right. Next matchup we got is the New York Football Giants against the Washington Commanders, formerly the Redskins. New York. Well, question, because the Giants technically play in New Jersey. Ooh. So it would be EWR. It wouldn't be JFK. Okay. Or there we go. That's a very good point. I've, okay. Well, I've never flown into Newark. New oh, wait. Yes, I it's have. A shit hole. It's a but The shit thing hole. is... I actually have a in-law. Her name is Aunt <laughs> Mo. We hate her. So I am <laughs> comfortable. She is a fucking con. I hate her. I hate her. She's from New Jersey. She's everything wrong with New Jersey. Like the, the parts that you're going, oh, I'm ashamed of. Snooky, that, that whole. She goes, oh, boy. I'll tell you what. I do not mind talking shit on her. That's your Aunt Mo. There's... You know how I've been like, uh oh, I better not offend the Ethiopians. <laughs> a general vague group. Right. I I I am very comfortable. This person is a terrible person. Coming for Aunt Mom. Anyways, so that for that reason I'm choosing the other one. The commanders. <laughs> yes. All right. The commanders. Washington yeah, commanders. Washington Washington Commanders. They had an opportunity to change their name and they were like, Well, it has to be a C. Yeah. And they chose commanders. It didn't have to be a C. They right. were the Redskins. They were the Redskins. Oh, I thought that they were the, the Chiefs. The no. Redskins. And they're okay with the Chiefs. Who? Who's they? <laughs> the people that were mad about the Redskins. Um, no, they're kind of pissed off about the Chiefs too. But one team at a time. Chiefs are too good to like really change. Yeah, and it's not like a slur. Like Redskin feels. No, no, you call you call an idiot dude a chief. <laughs> See what they say. Oh, okay, well, yeah. yeah. All right, chief. Say but that. you can also call like white people chief as like a hey a, chief. It's pretty condescending. It's it's, it's pretty condescending. Right? <laughs> yeah, you never like. Oh, thank you. Like, I hate it when people call me boss at work because I'm like, bitch, I'm making the coffee. <laughs> like I'm clearly not the boss. Yeah, I'm making five dollars an hour. What How dare you guy? call me boss? Big guy, a little bit too, because I'm not a big guy, hey, so pal. it feels ironic. Pal, I like. You like pal. Pal, I like, and guy, I like. Just guy in general. Like, hey, guy, love that. Well, that's because you're from Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah. Hey, if guys, somebody calls well, you know me what? bud, I'm Are, like, fuck you. But what fuck about buddy? You. Bud, really? 
All what right, about, bud. What about hot shot? I call people hot shot a lot. <laughs> that would hurt. <laughs> yeah, anytime anything's too good, I'm like, oh, somebody called me a prolific writer. And I was like, <laughs> and I literally was like, you fucking piece of somebody shit. Somebody called me a prolific writer. All right. Well, enough about they, Chip. Prolific just means a lot. Yeah. <laughs> just for the record. Just a lot. They weren't saying I'm the, uh, they're just saying I write a lot. It's like, wow, you have a lot of jokes. But then I was like, oh, you want me to stop telling everybody I have a kid? I get it. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, dial yeah. that one back. Maybe that was me that told you that. Yeah. Uh, and then our last matchup, we got one left. We got the Los Angeles Rams against the Green Bay Packers. Well, I, I am going to choose the Rams <laughs> because you like the Packers. So also, I've parody. never flown into Green Bay. I don't even think you guys have an airport. And if you do, it's probably not good. I've flown into Green Bay many a time. Uh, it's delightful. It's a cute little three bed, three bath. You know, probably about four thousand square feet. Yeah, that makes sense. They it's just a little guy. Have the TSA guy is probably like a little too confident because he doesn't have a real boss. He's got a name tag that says Jerry, regardless of whether his name's Jerry or not. Yeah. You know, because everyone's a German fuck up there. Yeah. And, oh, and yeah, abso- absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You call bit. me Jerry, call me sauerkraut bastard too. <laughs> well, there's somebody that's been in both airports. I mean, Los Angeles. You can fly LAX. More, you can fly more places. Yeah. Okay. You can fly more places. Sure. It's a lot bigger. Sure. The food's better. Of course. It's cleaner. Yeah. It's nicer. All Getting right. Getting in and out it's of it It's more sucks. dynamic. You know? Okay. All of sure. The, all of the taxi drivers and Uber drivers are high and their car smells like weed. This yeah. is the thing though. Green Bay, you can buy hats that look like cheese just in the airport. So... Let's do them both off of the airport this time. I got my Green Bay Packers. Why LAX doesn't have a train out pisses me off. It's, it's crazy. They're all like, oh, the environment, the environment. Oh, really? What about your car situation? You, you, f- you get out of the Green Bay airport via a horse-drawn carriage. That's actually a real <laughs> thing. That's awesome. Just horses and an Amish I'm guy. in on that. I don't think it's great for the environment, probably, but who no, knows? No, it gets cold. The horses are very uncomfortable. Well, that on that note, that's Christmas for you. Well, there we go. We got our picks for this week. What uh, happens if we need to do we need to do humiliation things when you lose? <laughs> you need a you need a, <laughs> you need eat. We'll bank it up. We'll we'll do a big one at the end of the year after we bank up the records. Okay. So we'll do it cumulatively over the next. Did couple you do weeks. no nut November? <laughs> no, no, definitely nutted through November. Yeah, some guy had st- yelled that out at me. That's so while fucking I was on stupid. Stage. You can't come for a month. Grow up. What? Yeah. What do you get? Yeah. You get you get frustrated is what you get. That's all you get from No Not November. Hmm. And then you have to end it by going to see family. That'd be yeah. Horrible. Exactly. And then I'm gonna come so hard. You know. <laughs> no, you. What? Thanksgiving. December one is when you get to nut again. I know, but I'm saying at the at the right. peak but the point of stretch. being angry. Yeah. You have mm-hmm. to then maybe deal with that's your why the tension in fullest. my family is for is going on. Maybe they're doing no nut November. That There's a lot of tension in my family. Maybe no. They, they, it feels like a no nut decade from your family. <laughs> it's like nobody. Everybody's plugged up. Hey, Dad, please come. Yeah, yeah. Colton's dad, come already. Why don't come you? home? All right. Well, those are our picks. Yes, and we'll see who's right. We will. And then if we don't, he's going to eat a pile of shit. <laughs> we'll catch you guys next week. He's Wait, what? Pile of shit. <laughs>